the next topic we have is form control elements uh, the control elements which will help us to create forms so let us see the list of those control elements form related html elements okay so the first element here is button this button elements defines a clickable button okay it defines a clickable button so a particular element is there called as button which will help us to create a button itself okay so we have a separate element for that okay the second thing is data list an html5 element form defines lists to be used with other form elements so this will help us to define a list of data okay data list it will help us to define a list of data to be used with other form elements then next we have here is field set field set we had seen it in our previous program so what does a field set do it groups related elements in a form together so if you have a, a set of elements that are related to form for example you have a label element then you have a input element select element okay legend element so all those elements are group of elements that will form create a form so all that can be grouped in another element known as a field set okay so within a field set you can put all the html elements which are related to forms okay next element we have here is the form element so this form element is required whenever you are creating a form so the first line itself will be having a form and in the previous program we had seen that the same form element had two attributes okay method method attributes and action attribute method we had given two values get and post and action attribute will be having the uh, file name of the uh, php okay php code file name has to be in the action attribute okay so if you are making use of the form element it defines the form container then we have here is the input element it defines an input field that means what input you have to enter to that particular tab you can enter text you can enter telephone number you can enter email address okay so you can enter a url so what type of input has to be entered can be suggested with which element input element okay and html file 5 defines over 20 different types of input it defines over how many 20 different types of input you can enter to a particular form and that through which element input element okay next we have is the label element this label element defines a label for a form input element now if you have a form input element for that you require a label for example title country username email first name last name second name so all these titles which you see is in the form that is been created by using which element here label element okay then next you have is the legend legend element defines the label for a field set group okay for the entire field set group what you have for that one label is required okay so that label is created using legend so this legend element also we had used in our previous program okay so it creates a label for the entire field set group okay next we have is the option element defines an option in a multi item list okay if i have a set of options choose a country finland canada united states so these all are options so those options can be created using which element option element okay then next we have here is opt group opt group is nothing but option group what this opt group element helps is in it defines a group of related options in a multi item list now what this option does is it creates a list of options what this opt group does is it will group some of the options group related options together okay that is a group of country group of names okay if i have a group of country those all uh, options related to country will be grouped at one side and uh, if i have an options related to names so all those group of names will be created into another group so i'll have two groups here uh, option groups of country and option groups of names so who will help me to create those option group is opt group okay next you have is the select element the select element will help us to define a multi item list 
okay option will help us to create those options whereas the select element will help us to create that multi item list okay next we have is the text area what this text area does is it will define a multi line text entry box okay so i ha i will have multiple lines text entry box so if you are entering only input type is equals to text i'll get only a single line to enter name or to enter title but if i want multiple lines of text to enter like a box like a thing then which element will help to do that is text area okay text area will help me to create a multi line text entry box okay so here we have is form related html elements so these all html elements will help me to create form the next topic we have is the text input controls okay so which all input you can enter to a form the first type is text if you enter the input type here text it will create a single line text entry box so you can just enter only a single line of text if you mention type as text here that is input type is equals to text name is equals to title okay so whatever if you are entering here text you can enter only single line of text and that data will go to the server with the help of which name here title okay next input type is text area it creates a multi line text entry box whereas this text input will help me to enter only single line whereas text area will help me to enter multiple line of text that is multi line text you have to write it as text area rows is equals to 3 so i'll get how many lines there three lines to enter my text if you all are mentioning which element here text area element next type we have is here a password so it creates a single line text entry box for a password so if i mention input type is equals to password it will create me a tab where i have to enter my password and it will take in terms of asterisk or in terms of bullets because password cannot be made visible so this is the other type of input next type we have is the search search input okay search input control so it creates a single line text entry box suitable for a search string okay so whenever you want to search anything in a particular page or in a particular website so you can make use of this search element okay this is an html5 element input type is equals to search okay so you will have there a search tab and next you have here is an email uh, email input element creates a single line text entry box suitable for entering an email address okay you can enter an email address by specifying input type is equals to email this is an html5 element also okay next you have the input type is equals to tell this tell element will help us to enter the telephone telephone number okay so it creates a single line text entry box suitable for entering a telephone this is an html5 element so you have to mention input type is equals to tell so immediately your box which is there the tab which is created will take telephone as input next you have is a url creates a single line text entry box suitable for entering a url okay it is suitable for entering a url what you have to mention is input type is equals to url so these are the different types of inputs you can enter okay for a particular form here they have shown in terms of diagram okay graphical representation of all those input controls first one is input type is equals to text okay you have to mention here text only it will create a single line text whereas text area enter some text text area enter some text uh, will get an multi line uh, area for entering the text multi lines will be created if you all are using which one text area here enter some text that text will be uh, that text enter some text will be displayed on your tab directly okay once you enter something there it will disappear okay if i enter something here it will disappear but instead of that if you want a uh, like you know very light color uh, like a transparent enter some texture okay enter some text it will not disappear it will remain at the back end so that time you have to use the attribute placeholder 
you have to use the attribute placeholder is equals to enter some text okay so it will look like a transparent text at the back here what it will be enter some text will be uh, displayed but once you start entering the text it will just be uh, uh, it will just be displaced from there okay but here when if you are using placeholder enter some text will look at the as a transparent text at the back okay then next we have is input type is equals to password once you enter the password it will come in the terms of bullets next we have here input text input control input type is equals to search okay placeholder enter search text okay it's so enter text search text there you do you have to enter the text there html input type is equals to email so if you are not entering a proper email there it will say please enter a valid email address in opera otherwise in chrome it will show please enter an email address okay so you have to enter a proper email address otherwise it will show you an error here it is input type is equals to url so url colon you have to enter please enter a url because you have not entered a valid url so these are the different types of uh, tabs which you can create input the next you have is the html5 advanced controls some of the advanced controls are there where you can mention the pattern attribute okay what in what pattern you want the input to be entered input type is equals to text placeholder is equals to l hash l l hash l hash here so the placeholder at the back here is l hash okay and the pattern which you want here is it has to be in this particular pattern a to z 0 to 9 a to z 0 to 9 a to z 0 to 9 okay in this particular pattern you have to enter okay so l what it is l it is a to z hash it is it is a number there for that particular symbol 0 to 9 again you have l here a to z okay then next it begins with hash so hash symbol is represented with a number 0 to 9 then you have a to z again 0 to 9 that means it should be of this particular pattern that pattern you have to mention here okay by using which attribute here pattern attribute so that will be looking uh, the placeholder will be there it will be looking there transparently at the tab so once you start entering it will disappear okay so l uh, l is there l pattern is a to z hash pattern is 0 to 9 again l is there a to z again here for the next string it is starting with hash so 0 to 9 next it is l a to z next it is 0 to 9 okay so if you do not enter in that particular pattern it will show please match the requested format okay so this is about the pattern uh, attribute next we have here is the data list okay so the data list element what it does is uh, we'll just see the code input type is equals to text name is equals to city and so on then you have the data list element here id is equals to cities this data list will create options like this same as the select element create as the options okay so which are options is been given calcutta calgary london los angeles paris and prague okay so these are the options are giving so the best advantage of data list is that for search city if i enter here p if i enter only the first character so immediately it will show me the uh, options which are starting with p below so what it is showing here is paris and prague okay paris and prague so that there are two uh, two options matching with the character p that is paris and prague now if i enter here only c so city if i enter here only c it will show me calcutta and calgary okay calcutta and calgary and if i enter here l it will show me london and los angeles okay so this is advantage of using data list that is if i enter a particular character if that character is matching to that option it will show me that option below in the drop down okay so this is an advantage of making use of data list so this was about the input text input controls